This is Science for Success, the best soybean management practices by extension researchers from across the United States. Hello, my name is Sean Conley. I'm the State Soybean and Small Grains Extension Specialist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So we've been working on this question about planting data on soybean for quite a long time. Um, one of the things really driving this is this in perception of an increased yield. We've seen it in corn and we've really tried to investigate this process on the soybean side. And over the last four years, we were able to collect data or yield data from 8,000 farm fields from across the Midwest. And what we found from that, again, is anywhere from, in some areas, a 0% yield increase all the way up to 0.5 to 0.6 bushel per acre per day yield increase after roughly around that um, April 20th planting date. So what we've really seen is that um, explosion and of a, this higher yield increases from pushing our early plant, our soybean planting dates earlier and earlier every single year. And the reason it's free yield is that as we put our soybeans in earlier, we tend to get more reaper, or vegetative growth. So we have more vegetation out there. We get a quicker canopy to help control like water hemp and some of these later emerging weeds that we're battling. Uh, we also get more nodes per plant. And with these increased nodes, I, I average probably two to three extra nodes per plant. And if you just do the quick and dirty math, two to three extra nodes per plant, three pods per node, and 3.3 seeds per pod, there's your five bushels on a per acre basis right there. And it's free. It didn't cost the grower anything to go out and as, as an additional input. So I think growers are kind of interested in this and, and how they can really push yields in on, on their own farm. Number one risk we see is usually increased disease pressure, uh, specifically coming in and using a seed treatment targeted at the pathogens that are in your field. That's why it's good to know the history of your field. We see a lot more Phytophthora and Pythium early, uh, but the biggest one that we're really probably battling against would be sudden death syndrome. That's uh, usually a higher risk when we do plant early. However, what we've really done is done a lot of research looking at this, and even if you do have a higher risk and do get uh, SDS in your field, the yield loss associated with that is usually less than if you would delay your planting. Uh, the recommendation used to be if you have SDS, delay your planting. Now one of the risks we do get, and we did see this in northern Illinois, is frost damage. Um, with that, generally we need a temperature below 30 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended period of hours, two to four hours is when we get that injury. So if we did lose a few stand here, if you look at our data, and I'll give a range across the Midwest, generally the range is anywhere between 50 and 70,000 plants, you don't do anything. Because we've got data, picture data, uh, imagery data showing that even at 50,000 plants per acre, you can get a full canopy if you plant it early. It just takes about a week longer for that canopy to close at that lower population. That's why we just encourage farmers at that point, invest in that residual herbicide, keep those weeds down so the canopy can close and then you can move on with very little yield loss at that point. It's probably the top three things that I want growers to think about when they're going and going to go and plant early is number one, check your crop insurance dates. Number two, understand that early planting might not work on every single field and every soil type, do a little bit of experimenting. However, remember this is free yield. And the third thing is understand that if you are going to be making this change, it's a total management change. So you might have to have some equipment upgrades. Uh, you might have to look at a seed treatment if you haven't used a seed treatment before or a different seed treatment and pay attention to what, uh, what pathogens you have in your field because you're probably gonna have to select a variety that may be more defensive traits in it than you would normally would have been if you were planting later. Science for Success is funded by the Soybean Checkoff.